Hey everybody, Miss Teacher here. We're taking a look at a question that I find is very tricky. I think if you just map it out on a number line, it will really help you to solve it. George has $23 to spend on art supplies. He wants to buy markers, paper, and glue. If the total cost of the markers and paper is more than $14, which inequality represents the dollar amount P George can spend on glue? All right, so what are we buying here? We're buying a bunch of markers. We're buying a bunch of paper, and we're buying a bunch of glue. And that amount has to be less than or equal to $23, because that's how much money we have. All right, so let's visualize the $23. All right, now let's take this little nugget right here that says that the total cost of the markers and paper is more than $14. So this amount here is greater than $14. Now let's kind of map that out on the number line. More than $14 means that it's, it's going to exceed, it, it's going to be past this line. It's going to be past it. So as a hypothetical, let's just put it just a teeny bit past. So as a hypothetical, let's put in a hypothetical value of $14.50. just to wrap our brains around what's going on. Now they want to know which inequality represents the dollar amount P they want, instead of using a G, but they want us to use a P. George can spend on glue. That means that we're talking about this amount right here, this blue amount. That would be for the, the glue. Now what would have to be true about this value? And if we just simply count, how many is there? Let's count backwards. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it couldn't be nine because then that would bring us back to the 14. So it has to be what compared to nine? Is it greater than nine or is it less than nine? So hopefully you can see that we can clearly eliminate these two choices because that's just ridiculous. Ask yourself, this blue line, even though I did a hypothetical, is that value less than nine or is it greater than nine? And once you've looked at this and determined that, then you'll be able to pick out the right answer. All right, good luck finishing that up.